Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mikal Tal and Robert Forbis. This game was played in the United States in 1988. Mikal Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Robert Forbis played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4. Knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, black to move. Robert Forbes played g6, the dragon variation of the Sicilian defense. Bishop to e3, bishop to g7, f3, knight to c6, queen to d2, and Forbes castle kingside. Bishop to c4, Tal is playing the sharp Yugoslav attack. Black to move. Bishop to d7 is a very popular move in this position. Forbis played knight to d7. Forbis had a very interesting idea in mind. White to move. h4 was played. Castling queenside is the most played move, but Tal just couldn't wait to attack, to destroy his opponent and to have his cigarette break. So he played h4. Knight to b6, attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, black to move, and now watch this very clever plan by Forbis. Knight to a5, white to move, h5 was played. After this game, many players preferred queen to d3 and queen to e2 instead. So these are the moves that became very popular. Saving the bishop here. Back to our game. After h5, Forbis played knight from b to c4. Forking the queen and the bishop. Queen to e2. Knight takes bishop on e3. Queen takes knight. Knight takes bishop on b3. A takes on b3. Forbis was laughing out loud on the inside. He has a bishop pair against Tal. Well done, Forbis. Bishop to d7 and Tal castled queen's side. e6 preventing knight to d5. f4, queen to b6, pinning the knight on d4. f5, g takes on f5. If something like a5, then h takes on g6, and after h takes on g6, f takes on g6. If black takes on g6, then queen to h3. And black has a major problem. Back to our game. G takes on f5. Pawn takes pawn on f5. King to h8. If pawn takes pawn on f5, queen to d3. So we have king to h8. Rook from h to f1. Bishop takes on d4. Rook takes on d4. And now e5 attacking the pinned rook. Forbis is putting up the fight of his life. Queen to h6, queen takes on d4, and black is a piece up. Wow. Tal even hasn't got enough pieces around black king to deliver checkmate. Should Tal offer a draw? The game continued. Queen to f6 check, king to g8, white to move. What now? This is a very interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Don't pause for too long, because it's extremely difficult to find this move. Ok, let's try some variations. If rook to f3, then rook from f to c8, and after rook to g3 check, king to f8, rook to g7, that is checkmate on f7, but then queen to f4, check, and after king to b1, bishop to e6. If rook takes on h7, then king to e8, and black is holding by the skin of his teeth. If queen takes on f5, then there is checkmate in 1. But king to e8, and black is holding. Ok, let's go back. What else? If 
queen to g5 check, then king to h8, and after h6, the threat is queen to g7 check mate, but black has e4, and black queen is defending g7 square. After rook from d to g1, rook to g8, and again black is holding. Back to our game. So what is the move then? Well, Mikkel Tal found a winning move out of thin air. Unbelievable. It's a miracle move. Who can guess this move? Knight to d5. Sacrificing the knight. Why? Black to move. Rook from f to e8 was played. If queen takes on d5, then queen to g5 check, and after king to h8, h6, threatening queen to g7 checkmate, black queen is no longer on d4, so e4 is not defending. After rook to g8, queen to f6 check, and after rook to g7, queen takes on g7 checkmate. Wow. Back to our game. So in this position, rook from f to e8 was played, queen to g5 check, king to h8, h6, and 4 was played e4 as planned, defending g7 square, but now f6, threatening queen to g7 check, mate, 4 was played, rook to g8, Heavy gun arrived just on time. What now? White is losing in all variations except one. Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing move? Queen to g7 check. Sacrificing the queen for the attack. Rook takes on g7. Pawn takes rook. Check. So that's h takes on g7 check, king to g8, white to move and to play the obvious. And the move is, did you find the obvious move? Knight to e7, check mate. What a game. Player with black pieces tried very hard, but could win against someone who can do miracles. What do you think of this game? Do you like my chess lessons? You can support my work by purchasing my DVD, which is on special right now. On the DVD, you will find a great collection of many beautiful chess miniatures. You purchase my DVD, I buy my bread and butter, and in return, I will continue to make more free videos for you. Is that a good deal? Or is that a good deal? Please click on the link below the video and download your copy right now.